before we do the final report of the day, this is for the U.S. Again, this is a, this this report goes back uses data for the previous twelve from goes back twelve months. <coughs> Just fire this up and see exactly what it looks like. So for the previous 12 months, the U.S. had 39.5 million cases, uh, 459,236 deaths. You can see here that the cases are not starting off this good, but you know, but don't panic over cases, okay, America? Don't panic over cases. Deaths and hospital, you know, cases and hospital beds are not as important as COVID-19 deaths, okay? If you go back and it's it's like polio. No one, how many people were diagnosed with polio? How many people are, are diagnosed each year? With cancer, well, we don't know because we don't actually track cancer cases. We track we track cancer deaths. Okay. Nonetheless, you can see here cases are already starting to creep up towards 10 million to over 5 million. So already two weeks into the year, by quarter, you, uh, you know, well, you know what? Over the next week or two, the, the first quarter of 2022 is going to be the the third most quarter of the previous 12 months. Okay, for cases. Look at deaths. Look at deaths here. And you can see this is this is a, this is obvious. This is a concern, but not as big a concern as deaths. Okay. Again, uh, already January twenty twenty second is is the most number of cases of any month in the past twelve months. Yeah, you can see you see weekly cases here. The big spike last week. What about uh, you? Can you can see on January 11th, uh, we, you were averaging what 659,821 cases for uh, over the previous seven days. Up here, 752,387 cases in the U.S. What about deaths? Here you go.
Uh, okay, deaths. You can see deaths for 2022 are, are right there, okay? Quarters. Well, there's a good chance that, uh, oh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, the first quarter of 22 could wind up being a, here someplace, I'm thinking. Okay? What about monthly case? Monthly deaths for the U.S.? Uh, Okay, let's take a look at COVID-19 deaths here. Okay, you can see here uh, deaths. Well, it remains to be seen what's going to happen here. Uh, deaths, okay, 5,000 deaths there for the week. Daily numbers. January 11th, the uh, U.S. had 2,641 deaths on average, with an average of 1,569 deaths per day. And here's a question. For every 100,000 people in the U.S., on average, how many people have COVID-19? Well, the answer is well, right around about uh, 250. That number is not good because they are up to here. These are the spikes. We're more concerned with the average. But what about the per capita? Well, so this means what? Five? One five thousandths of a four thousandths of a person, okay, four thousandths of a person for, for every uh, four thousand four thousandths of a person per capita has COVID 19 in America. That's not that's not like a huge, staggering number, is it? It's not like we have you know one person per capita dying. Now, we don't have a half a person per capita having COVID 19 in America, okay? What about deaths? Now, you can see here again, uh. This is one half of a person. So we, that's, that's just be nice and say, let's that's, that's say that's on average, it's, it's 0.7 for every 100,000 people in the U.S., three-fourths of a person is dying from COVID-19. Okay? And look at this. If we look at it actually per capita, I don't even know what this number is. But it's, uh, I do know it's, it's less than one. Okay, it's, it's, it's really less than one. So all this talk and this panic over COVID-19, I'm just not sure it's justified. Okay, I'm just not sure. Yeah, people are dying. People are in the hospital. But you know what? People die every day. People die every day from cancer and heart disease, and no one, there's no panic. Okay? Anyway, that does conclude the report for. Uh